Hello everyone! In this video, you will be learning the basics of BEDMAS or PEMDAS and how it is used in order of operations. First of all, for B, we have brackets. Next up, we have exponents. They can look like this or this. Keep in mind that they are the small number written on top of a number. Also, don't forget that even though the 5 is on top of the 7, it does not mean that 5 is being multiplied by 7. Instead, what it actually means is that 7 is being multiplied by itself 5 times. Next up, for D, we have division. Here is a simple example. Next on our list, we have multiplication. Here is another simple example that could be found in an equation. The A stands for addition. Another easy example. Lastly, we have subtraction. And although it might be last, it is not less important. All of these operations must be done in this order. Hence, it is called order of operations. The last thing you need to know is that division and multiplication and addition and subtraction are always going hand in hand. That means if there was only division and multiplication left in an equation, you would solve the operations from left to right, no matter if division or multiplication came first. And likewise with addition and subtraction. Here is an example of an equation that uses both bed mass and the left to right rule. According to this rule, I have to do multiplication first and then division. But isn't that breaking the rules of bed mass? Not really, because remember how I told you division and multiplication are grouped together? and so are addition and subtraction. Now that we know all of the rules, let's begin. We have to multiply first and then move on to division. We got 32 by multiplying 8 and 4 and then brought the rest of the equation down as it is. Next, we have to divide 32 by 2. We got 16 and brought the 9 down as it is. Now we're left with our last step. We added them to get our final answer of 25. Next up, we have another example that uses bed mass. But before we begin, we need to learn about some types of brackets. Here are three types of brackets. The first one is round brackets. The second one, braces or curly brackets. The third one is square brackets or box brackets. The most important thing to remember about brackets is which one to solve first. You always start with the round brackets and solve what is inside them first and then you move on to the curly brackets and solve what is inside them and then you can move on to the box brackets and then solve what is remaining inside the bracket. Sometimes there is only round bracket and box bracket. In that case, you just go from the round brackets to the box brackets. Now that we know the types of brackets and which one to solve first, we can solve our equation. We start with the round brackets and solve what is inside them. And then we continue with our brackets since we still have the box brackets to go. And then we continue solving using order of operations to get to our final answer. Here is another equation we will solve using bed mass. First of all, we start by solving the brackets. We can write our answer underneath and bring down the rest of the numbers as they are. Our next step is to solve the exponent. Again, we write our answer underneath and bring the rest of the numbers down. Our next step is division and multiplication. Since the multiplication and division is separated by an addition sign, we can do them both in one step. Then, using all of the bed mass steps, we can get to our final answer. Lastly, to end of our video, we want to give a challenging bed mass question to all of our viewers. All you have to do is put brackets to make this expression equal to 15. I will reveal the answer in our next video, so remember to like and subscribe for more informative videos. 